You magnificent bastards. It is a wonderful occasion to see you again. I am joined by Joshua Courtright. Hello. He is a musician friend of mine. We're greeting you from the fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And we have an airplane bottle flight to double the pun. We're going to start off and Josh is going to pick the first one. I'm going to pick the second one. We went to Total Wine earlier today to pick up things that neither of us have had before. We're so, doing, oh, go ahead. Yep, we're going to see how things go. We're doing a grab bag style. Grab bag style. Yep. And I uh, just want to say thank you very much for gracing my room six with this. This is room six. And uh, as you said, I go first, huh? Yes, you do. To cleanse our palates, we've got, of course, whiskey. Josh is Evan Williams. I have, uh, what do I have? It's a scotch. Belmelon. Belmelon, space side, cherry cask finish. Don't recommend it. Not our favorite. I'm drinking this to try and get rid of it. Okay, so, uh, I am no idea what I'm getting. In fact, I don't even know most of what he grabbed. But we, our first foray into the depths of total wine freakiness is Ooh, Hayes Parker Reserve Bourbon Whiskey. Keep them with the whiskey theme. Okay, we're going with bourbon. Nice. For those of you, just to, it is a tiny bottle. A teeny bottle, but a big mustache. <laughs> this is a 45% uh, by volume, 90 proof, 50 milliliter bottle. 100% off, 100% genuine. Really funny thing to put in the bottle and small batch. Because it, it, there's so many bourbon whiskeys out there, I guess they're fake. Right. An experience you can spend the rest of your life with. We wow. shall see. Marketing. Gotta love it. Now, normally, I am a, uh, an uncouth barbarian, and I, I have a couple, you know, rocks, little ice cubes with my bourbon whiskey, but uh, that's not going to happen here because we don't have ice up here. We're doing everything neat, everything straight from the bottle. This is 90 proof, so it's going to have a little bit more alcohol vapor on it. It's going to sting a little bit more in the nose, so when you do... Mm -hmm. Smell, open up your mouth, yep. and breathe in with both orifices. Orifice, what, orifice high. I know what I'm about, son. Sometimes I feel like Daniel, sometimes I feel like Rex. He knows nothing about the Whiskey Tribe and hasn't watched the Whiskey Vault videos, so doesn't know about Daniel and Rex. Daniel is a level three whiskey sommelier. Well, one, okay. of, one of a handful. And then Rex is a mooch of indiscriminate level. Mm. To the mooches and the sommeliers of the world alike. Alike. Shh. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. I'm... Oh, that's smooth. That's... There's, there's vanilla, there mm -hmm. is a little bit of caramel to it. When I think bourbon sometimes, especially bourbon I don't know, mm. there's always that fear of it's going to smack me upside the head. It's, a, it's harsh, it's brittle, it's, yeah. too, it's too bright. This is, this is really, really toned down. This is seductive. And I know I'm not using a Glencairn. I apologize, guys. This is my last Glencairn. The other three are are dead. I'm going to replace them eventually, but... Alcohol makes you clumsy. No, I believe I was sober when I broke those three. All three yeah. of them. On separate occasions, separate days. Well, practice safe uh, dishwashing. <laughs> Shall we? Peppery. A little mm -hmm. bit of peppery. But not, not so much peppery that... You're like more like a white pepper than a black pepper. Yeah, just it's like, oh, it's enhancing. It's not, you know, being right. Stringent. It's part of the stringent is the word I'm thinking. Of. Yeah, it's part of the blend. It's not something that sticks out. Interesting. Wasn't expecting the tingle on my tongue. That's the forty-five percent. Yep. Ooh, I'm getting like a. Citrusy, kind of like an orange zest. But yeah, there it is. I didn't get it. The, the first little bit was me to, like dipping my toe in, but there it is. And you're and if you didn't say that, I would be like, "What is that? What is that? What is that?" This is really good. I'm already enjoying this review. <laughs> orange zest, brown sugar. Mm. Um, it's really, really bright. From North Charleston, South Carolina. Good job, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. 
that's that's one of those things that I'll be picking out a full bottle of. Did you see the aged? Mm -mm, no. At least six months. <laughs> yeah. For six oh, months, it's it not is. bad. There it is. Right in the ending notes, it does break up a little bit. It's a little Ooh. brittle, just the tail end. But right. the whole journey up until that True. is nice. And by the way, an experience you can spend the rest of your life with. As someone who is uh, on his second marriage, I can say, I don't know if that's such a good thing. <laughs> Um, sure. I'm okay with that. There is a yeah, little bit of uh, a little bit of throat burn, but that's the ninety proof. And, you know, you chalk that up too. Yeah. But I'm surprised. You know what I'm getting out of it? I say brown sugar, but like, no, no, it's if you've molasses. ever had, if you've ever had candy yams, mm. that kind yeah. of. I'm gonna toss them. Okay. Yeah. Nice shot. We'll oh see. Oh my god! He did the toss. Rex and Daniel have this thing where they crumple up notes, like they crumple up comments and they chuck them in the trash and the trash is several feet away. We'll see how that goes Just as did. we progress. Oh, Thanks like to you, this gentleman. You, you definitely need to be in the Whiskey Tribe. You need to uh, watch the videos. You need to see the reviews. They do a lot of stuff. They've done the Glen Morangi shootout where they do all the... Mm -hmm. I noticed you have the sampler pack of Glen Morangi. I, I did like it very much so. I mean, I hated it. I hated it so much I had to make it disappear. <sighs> hmm. That's good. That's really good. It does not suck. I don't know. <laughs> like the time you're you measure it does not suck. Well, what's my what's my greatest accolade to a musician after their show? Uh, it wasn't shit. No, my greatest accolade is way to not suck. Uh, and they always cool. laugh because I tell them beforehand, don't suck. <laughs> I don't know if I would want more than what we have here. There is so much sh like we had the the Sexton earlier today, the Sherry Cask uh, finished Sexton. Yes. Shout out to uh, Total Wine. Total Wine. Um, and then we had the I don't remember the name of the tequila. Do you remember? Oh, I know. Crap. It was an Añejo tequila, and it was just too candy for me. It's too right. sweet. Well, they had all this three is, levels there of the tequila. They had the Blanco, the Reposado, <coughs> and, the, and the the Añejo. Mm -hmm. The Añejo to to me tasted like candy, and this is kind of what's what that's borderlining on. I'm still fuzzy on the levels of tequila. Which one was the most expensive? The supposedly like smooth Añejo. Yeah, that's the one I tried. I was not expecting the smoky finish. It was very faintly. Yeah, so. Whereas last night's tequila smacked us upside the head all the way down. Oh, if I never drink that again, I, I, I will be. You know, we should have paid attention to what the brand was. So we never ever <laughs> made that mistake. Um, I won't get anything with a colorful label. <laughs> right. My my in laws went to Mexico. Oh, looks like someone's comedy. No, I don't want to tag Steve Billman. <laughs> Steve Billman was a, a bass player um, who came to my school, the Los Angeles College of Music, and would play bass in the ensemble workshops. No, I don't want to tag him. That was a weird pop up to have. Interesting Great, memory, though. Fantastic musician, but no. Yeah. Interesting memory. I was at community college studying voice, trying to figure out who I am and what I want to do. Yo Yo Ma came. Jesus. Okay. Yeah. Even then, I knew who he was, and he came, and he performed, and he spoke, and it was amazing. And he was hilarious. He's a funny guy. Anyway, as I was saying... I'm getting uh, cocoa notes. Something is? Yeah. Cocoa notes. Like, like dark chocolate, co mm -hmm. like like the 70%, the 80% cocoa bars. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe that's, maybe that's where I'm getting the sugar instead of brown sugar. Oh, suddenly there's brown sugar, or whatever that is. No, no, no. I mean, I was getting it. I was getting it. But definitely. But I just yeah, took a drink, and all of a sudden, it was like, hello, here I am. My palate's not quite as refined, and it's not for a lack of trying. It, it partially comes from a uh, deviated septum, I think. The aromas? Probably that. Um, also, you don't open your mouth when you inhale. I, 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 I do. I try. Oh, is it the, is it the beer, then? Is it hiding it? Because when I do the tastings, mm -hmm. I start here. And then it's both mouth and nose open. I guess what it is. And I, that's just to let the I've, alcohol vapors I've done it, and I don't notice a difference. Is what it is. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's definitely deviated. I'm strictly based off taste mostly, and and how it makes me feel on the way down and, and on, on the way up. <laughs> but, and on the way up. Yeah. All the way. All up. the way. All up. the way. Are you up. done? 
Mine's gone, yeah. I'm I think it's me more. I think it's a little bullshit. <laughs> Alright, well. <clears throat> oh. Oh, oh, that's yeah. weird. I, 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 I swigged the last one. Yeah. Smoke? Smoke? Oh. I think it's smoked that whole Maybe it's pepper, but I, all of a sudden I'm Definitely like, pepper. I'm like, what the heck? Oh. No, no, this is, this, is, water. this is the whiskey tribe you can cuss. My kid just went to bed. What the fuck? I'll do it since you're scared to. I'm not scared to. Do you want to rinse your glass? That's that's actually why I brought up water. You know what? Yeah. I did not bring up water to cleanse my palate. He, I, I have not done one of these. He is, I am following his lead. So. Oh, no, it's my turn. I was worried I was going to pick the 90 proof one. No, like, actually, was, was, it, was it, that was, what that was, that was yeah. the 90 proof, that was the 45%. Should we? Oh, no, I would, I, eh? hmm. what? I wouldn't. What did you just, what did you do? What did you do? Nothing. I got the Lone Hand Whiskey Tennessee Sour Mash. Oh, from Charleston to Tennessee. This will be interesting. Because <sighs> there's a difference. <laughs> And I, I don't think I've ever had a sour mash. Now that I think about it, Jack Daniels. Oh, Jack's a sour mash. Well, better get my solo cup. Now let's compare, just to make sure. Oh, I was just kidding, dude. I was not. That was that was an even pour. You 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 was not. I was not. Nice. Mm. Hello, my daughter. Say hi to the internet. We're, we're streaming live. Hi. This is my daughter. Mm, thank you. Night. She's a reindeer tonight. What does the fox say? Close the door. Close the door. It's too late. I got it. Okay. So obviously, room six is in my house. And uh, this is actually uh, where I film my YouTube channel that is in the process of being built out. Sean is actually going to be the first interview slash performance. Uh, aside from that, I'll be also focusing on the local Las Vegas music scene and uh, reviewing things such as this and people's music and tech uh, related to music and um, hopefully having a, a good time. So I want to thank Sean for that. And, uh, and I needed it. I appreciate you coming in. Um, this obviously isn't an interview. This is just a, a tasting. But right, I'm just this, letting this, know. This like, is for me getting the nerves out before I have to do the interview <laughs> because I don't like being interviewed. And I didn't tell him that. I really hate being interviewed because I get really nervous about it. So but you're so good talking about yourself. Hey, I never talk about myself. I know. Filtered through. No way. What? Filtered through sugar maple. Right. Charcoal using the time honored Lincoln County process aged in charred white oak barrels, white oak, white oak barrels, bottled with pride for those deemed worthy. That's a lot of fucking script to put on a bottle of whiskey, wow. especially something that's fucking small. Do you feel worthy? Do I feel worthy? I feel more than worthy if someone's going to call me out on it. No. I'm now, now I'm approaching this with like a bias of hating it. Yeah. Way to go, oh, Tennessee. Oh, that's... Damn it. Now I hate it. <laughs> I really hate it. I feel like... It's super sharp. I feel like that this was what was free at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is what they were giving out free samples of. Mm. So there is definitely... I get the white sugar. I get the granulated sugar. Yeah. I don't get the... There's no orange in this. There's... um. That's all I'm getting is sugar. It, oh god, if it's as sweet as it smells. It's pretty it's pretty sweet compared to the last one. It's not a honey whiskey though. But this is a sour mash. Oh, it is sour. It's brittle, it's sour. Mm -hmm. It breaks up really easily. Oh, I hate this. Oh, it's bad. I'm not a fan. Um I'm trying to get into notes, but it's like. Okay. Hmm. Oops. Mostly what I'm getting 
is just a numb tongue. I'm getting some mushroom earthiness. I think even more than mushroom earthiness, I think it's just dirt. Yeah, it, it's the specified. It's, it's like soil. It's the it's the eye that, or the specified of. He says he doesn't like space hides, and then I got Glen Murray uh, Sherry Cask finish, and loved it. At that point, I didn't. I didn't like. Space I think you're. Space I hide. think. I think you're equating space hide to Iowa, and the Iowa whiskeys are the smoky ones. Here's how I like it. Peaty. Here's how I like it. Moss. I prefer like Smirnoff or Kettle One or something to. Like a Rembrandt vodka or... The vodka's a Rembrandt? No, I meant Van Gogh. Sorry. Van Gogh vodka. Oh, okay. One of those layered... Taste, you can taste dirt. You know, it, it, I don't care for real pretentious, real uh, layered kind of things when it comes to like a vodka because I'm just mixing it with something. Right. But that's the thing. With scotch, you have to realize that they take a lot of pride in harvesting water from their location. Like the Glen Valley is... I understand is, that. Is, and all that. But for me, the Glens of the world, mm-hmm. not the names people, mm-hmm. the Glen... Shout out to my nephew. <laughs> the Glen Scotches of the world, to me, have kind of a uniform taste. Whether it's Glen Fittick or Glen Lovett. I know immediate shit. Go ahead. Do it. It's fine. I'm okay with it. Um, I'd rather have something like a, a Glen Murray space eyed that's finished in sherry, I'd rather have that over a port cask finish. Mm. Because I just, I, I, I like sherry wine. I, I, right. I'm fond of that flavor. And that's the great thing about this group, is this group is entirely based on the right whiskey. It's the whiskey you like, but you like to drink it. Mm-hmm. And I don't like to drink this whiskey. Yeah, This is the wrong whiskey. <laughs> this is the... Lone Hand Whiskey Tennessee Sour Mash. I won't ever, ever buy this again. You want to take a shot or shall I? I'll take a shot? There's nothing left. It's the trash. Oh, crap. I guess I have to. You, you did the last one. I'm going to miss. I'm calling it right now. Wow. <laughs> Called it. I missed. I've, I've, got a, I've got a more direct line. Things. I've got a more direct line. Well, I've also been drinking since two o'clock. <laughs> Six in the morn. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Oh, by the way, dad jokes are super appreciated in this group. Well, it's You're fun. welcome. Yes. You're welcome. I've unleashed the beast. Well, oh, I hate it. It's, I can't come up with them on the fly. It's more of a situational awareness thing. So should we just pound this and get rid of it? Oh, oh, why did I... Oh, that was worse. This is the painted bottle of tequila mezcal of bourbons. I don't like... It's so abrasive. Mm. I'm not a... I, I'm not a bourbon guy. I prefer space side scotches and highlands and things yeah. like that. And whoever the fuck commented that space side are just highland whiskeys, thank you. You're wrong. You can read that. No. Oh, I was no. This was a previous post. Okay. Someone said Highland whiskeys are like, oh, Highlands are just space sides, or space sides are just Highlands. Mm. You're wrong. There's not as much smoke mm. in a so, space side as there is a Highland, and I hate Highland whiskeys. I tried Highland Park based on a lot of your recommendations, and I hated it. And I I think I just prefer the Highland because it, it's it tastes like, clean to me. I like the low. I like Akintoshin. Akintoshin? Akintoshin. I'm getting it butchered, so I said both. Sounds like a medicine. It's so good. The 12 years are amazing. I'm already looking forward to that cinnamon apple pie or whatever it was. Oh, yeah. There's a little awful surprise at the end for all of you guys. Oh, Oh, Evan Williams with with a couple of ice cubes melted in it. It's such a palate cleanser now. Like I said, the whiskey you like to drink... Oh. The way you like to drink it. No, but given what we're doing, I needed something I knew that was comfort. Evan Williams, a couple of ice in it. It's melted. This is cold. It's nice palate cleanser. So what you're doing, essentially, is taking your ABV down. Pretty much. It starts at, it starts at 43%. For those of you that haven't had Evan Williams yet. It starts at 43%. If you don't throw two ice cubes in it, you're going to knock that 43% down to a little under 40%. And it's fine. It knocks off the burn of the alcohol. It expands the volume. 
And honestly, if you drink three Evan Williams with ice cubes versus one without, right, part of the course. My thing is, like, I only get that if, if I order it out, it's like, give me just two ice cubes, please. I don't, I'm paying for the alcohol, right? But you get you get that privilege by by being able to say that, right? But you know, I already know the highs and lows, and so I, I just want to enjoy it, mm -hmm. and I want it cold. And that's the thing, you know? it, as Daniel and Rice have talked about, when you chill a whiskey, you're muting those highs and lows and you're centering the notes towards something that's easy to focus on. So whether you like a bourbon burn, like the barrel actually being charred and things like that, you can focus in on that note and not have to worry about, oh, there are notes of vanilla and maybe a little bit of lavender and things like that. It just makes everything concise. All right, my turn. It is your turn. We are on whiskey number three. Okay, roll my sleeve up. Wheel of morality. Turn, turn, turn. So what are we down to? Just two. Did you just ret and link this whole group? I was just wheel of morality. Turn, turn, turn. turn, turn. turn. Tell us the lesson that we should we shall learn. learn. Animaniacs. Oh, animaniacs. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was thinking. Of These link. kids nowadays. My... Fuck. <laughs> how old? I'm sorry. How old are you? 28. And how old am I? Old as fuck. <laughs> 46. Uh, and what's that? Wolfhound Irish Whiskey. Oh, I'm excited about this. I'm glad you are. I love Irish whiskeys. 40% alcohol. So oh, boy, this. <clears throat> I need to lean forward for this yeah. one. The gentle giant of Irish whiskeys, Wolfhound is smooth and rich with hues of deep golden amber. Crafted from fine Irish malt and grain by the master distiller of Wolfhound Irish Whiskey. They're missing a comma after whiskeys. <laughs> really? You're, yes. Are you, are you fucking grammar not saying this? I am. There's a comma. There should be a comma. Oxford comma saves lives. God damn it. He's right. There should be a comma after that. However, I bought it because it said Irish Whiskey and it was under $2. However, that bottle... No, no, it's plastic. There we go. What, you thought it was I glass? Thought. Would you think this was a game? <laughs> oh, I thought we were going to enjoy something. Apparently, it's just an Irish whiskey in a plastic bottle. Three. Gurgle, gurgle. It's clear. It is suit. That is definitely not deep amber. Yeah, it looks that like that is a load of bullshit. You know what it looks like? It looks like I need to drink more water <laughs> in my... Hey, Elbrow. Bang shot! <clears throat> it looks like I need to drink more water. That's what it, it looks like. <laughs> oh, Ooh, smells good, though. Rex. Shortbread cookies. Yes. And I know it's not a cookie. It's a oh. biscuit, and I know we had this argument. Girl Scout toffee tastics would work with this. <laughs> 